I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Had a great week in Arizona, and I'm so thankful for you guys. It was so touching, all the condolences and the care and concern that you had that really meant a lot. It was just very comforting to read through all that. Now, I had a great week. I didn't have a lot of chance to do a lot of art-related stuff. I did a few things, and we'll take a look at that. Um, I was able to do a tour of some of the art supply stores around there. That was kind of fun. And uh, went to an art show. Um, we'll talk about that. I have a few clips from that. And I was able to do some sketching. Uh, went to Scottsdale Botanical Gardens and got in some a little bit of sketching of the Papago, Papagao Buttes. Those of you in Phoenix know what those are. We'll take a look at that. So come back to Phoenix with me and I'll show you what we did. Well, I made it. I'm here in Phoenix. That was a long trip, and man, we hit some turbulence, let me tell you. I nearly got airsick. We were being tossed around like little matchsticks in that plane. About half the flight was, was pretty smooth. I'm glad to be back in Phoenix, gonna visit my grandmother and my uncle, and we'll see if I can get some sketching done while I'm here. But right now, there's an art supply store just up the street, and I'm gonna go check it out. Okay, I'm at Arizona Art Supply, so we're going to go in and take a look. Now, I'm probably not going to talk when I go in there. I kind of feel funny. But hey, we'll see what they've got, right? Well, it was okay. Just so-so, as art stores go. But it's always fun to look around in any art store. On to the next. Blink! Okay, so now I'm at Jerry's Artorama, so I've kind of made the rounds of the major ones here in Phoenix. Let's go see what we can find. Okay, so I've completed my tour of the Phoenix Art Supply Stores. Picked up a few things, not really a haul, but some pretty cool stuff. Jerry's Artorama, to me, in one hands down. The only thing I've seen bigger and better is Sam Flax in Atlanta. But this was a pretty cool store. Picked up another Stillman and Burns sketchbook. I already have one of these. This is the extra heavyweight white cold press. I just don't have it in this size. This is the seven by seven square. Picked up a, uh, a Creative Mark quill. Actually, cause I wanna use it here while I'm in Arizona. And I picked up a Mimic Kalinske. I have a small Mimic Kalinske, but I wanted to try one of these bigger ones. It uh, has a little more spring to it than a true sable. At Blick, I was real pleased to see that they had the uh, brand new, this is the new Buckwell Canson Heritage. New paper, supposed to be like one of their finest papers in a block, so I'll get to try that out. Nothing else except a couple of uh, Pigma Microns, a brown and a sepia that I'm hoping to use here. In Arizona. So I'm not really sure yet what's going to happen with the uh, sketching. It's supposed to continue raining on through Sunday. My grandfather's memorial is on Tuesday, so and that's the first day it's supposed to clear up. So I don't know whether I have enough time, but we'll see. 
Well, I wanted to visit a gallery or two, and instead my uncle suggested that we go to the Celebration of Fine Art. Now, this is a three-month art show from January through March. They do it every year. That's my uncle right there. He knows everybody. He goes to this art show just literally every year and got to know most of these artists really well. But uh, I was glad he took me here. This is better than an art gallery. Um, they have really strict kind of guidelines for getting into this show. And they're the best of the best. And I just sampled for you on video here a few. Um, there weren't a lot of watercolorists, but it doesn't matter. I'm inspired by any art. Um, and some of the stuff was just absolutely amazing. Some great styles. You get lots of ideas from even from brushstroke styles, even though maybe an oil uh, color. <clears throat> color ideas are great, and uh, I just loved looking at it. This guy, this guy was amazing. He hand sculpts for producing his own bronzes, and the bronzes are amazing in and of themselves. But as if that weren't enough, he takes some of his sketches and does watercolors of them. Just absolutely gorgeous. I mean, this guy was a blow away entry into this show, I think. But I loved all of his stuff. This is a watercolorist from Chile. He wasn't there, so I didn't get to meet him, but he was pretty good. A lot of neat local portrait type work was an oil painter and she was happy to let me video but she did a lot of great portraits beautiful dynamics in the light just amazing and we were done and this was probably one of our best weather days that's our drive home now Sunday I decided to head over to the botanical gardens and uh, it was a gray day but no rain and I'm just uh, drawing and sketching this kind of it's like an aloe plant but it was on kind of a tree stalk uh, it was like a cross between an aloe and a palm I think it was actually an aloe type of an aloe plant that I started out with I don't have any video of it but I also did you'll see it here in a minute I also did a sketch of some organ pipe cactus which is not colored yet. I think uh, for you uh, Patreon supporters, I'm probably going to color that one in a Sketchbook Peaks video. But it was just great uh, sitting here. The, the Botanical Gardens is just so beautiful. And there you can see it's mostly finished. I'd, fiddle with it later. There's the organ pipe cactus sketch that I'll color later for you supporters on Patreon. Then Monday was off to the Papago Buttes. Now Monday was a blustery day. You can see the sky but I tell you that was a great sky and I, I incorporated that in the painting. These are the Buttes. People in Phoenix are familiar with them. They're just these big kind of mountain, not mountain, but big rock formations that look like they're riddled with caves because of the rain situation it would sprinkle and then rain and then stop i sat on the edge of the car in the parking lot where you had a good view of the buttes i didn't do any painting on location but uh, the sketching method was very effective i used watercolor pencil very lightly and sketched them out um, so i had a good guide to follow then i took a water brush and sort of lightly toned some of the values where i saw them Then when I got back to the hotel, here I am in the hotel, I had a photo that I had taken, made a print of, and I finished it out. And, and I had a real great base to go from. And the bigger grouping of rocks over there, you can see I have that light watercolor pencil sketch, um, which I will paint and finish later. I'll probably share all of these on Instagram. So if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see them there, the finished pieces. And I'll leave you with uh, Arizona Sunset, which they have many of, and they're beautiful. Thanks everybody. We'll see you in the next video.